What is a body? Containers are ephemeral by definition, which means that everything that is stored at runtime is lost when the container is stopped. How we can make that content persistent? Using Kubernetes volumes. There are four Kubernetes objects we need to be aware of. Volume, a persistent volume, or in a storage class, or in a persistent volume plane. In my current Kubernetes cluster, I've got a storage class provided by my administrator. I can do kit cutoff get sc, and you'll see that there is here a standard default storage class, okay, which in this case is a provisioner of Google Cloud Engine. And as it's the default, if I do not specify the storage class in my YAML files, then this is one that is taken. Okay. Now, let me uh, show you, first of all, the persistent volume claim. I'm going to deploy an application and I need to request some space. And this is done with the persistent volume claim object, which has a name and the access mode, and also the amount of storage that I request. And then, this is the uh, persistent volume claim, and then I need to set this persistent volume and this persistent volume claim into my application. So my application is aware of it. And as you can see here, I've got my pod deployment, which I set a volume mount in slash TMP slash demo. This is where all the content, all the persistent content is going to be stored from the point of view of the pod. And then in the pol in the volumes, what I'm setting is what is the claim that I, I want to use. And in this case, I want to use my boot volume claim, which is the one that I've defined here. So I've got I've already have my application here up and running with the uh, persistent volume and so on. And I'm going to do kif curl exec. I'm going to go inside the pot and I'm going to write something in the follow the directory, if I go to slash tmp, tmp slash demo, this is the volume that I've defined it, and see that there is no uh, file here yet, so I can do a call local, local host, 8080 slash append um, greetings, um, greeting file, and just created a new file called greeting.txt, and if I do a cat, I can see that it just says jumbo, here you can see this is the content of the file, so now let me do an exit and let me delete the pod. So now I'm just killing my boot demo pod. So if we were not using a volume, then the greeting.txt file will just remove it as well. But let's see what's happening now because I'm just using volumes and a persistent volume claim set to the default storage. Class. Let me do a kif curl now. Apply minus f of the um, again to start the pod. Get pod. Okay, this is my new pod that I've created right now. Let me wait until it's up and running. And now, if I do an exec, notice that this is a fairly new pod started ten seconds ago. I can do a cat in a slash tmp slash demo slash reading dot txt and you can see here that this is the jumbo because volumes when used with the distributed file system makes your content persistent. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.